Emotions were high inside a Limestone County courtroom today during day two of the retrial for Mason Sisk, the teenager accused of killing five family members. Way 31's Alex Torres Perez stepped out of the courtroom with what happened today. Well, Dan Marie, I just learned that that jury is having a brief recess after seeing that body camera footage of several deputies and after a very graphic morning of having to see an autopsy photos. Now, um, the judge warned everyone three separate times about how graphic these photos were. Um, they gave people a ch and gave people a chance to leave that courtroom before those photos were shown. It included photos of six year old Grayson Kane, four year old Aurora and six month old Colson. Now, the family obviously upset by seeing those images and the judge did have a family member escorted out of the room because they just couldn't hold back their emotions and understandably so. Um, you could also tell that Mason was disturbed by the images. He kept his head low, kept his eyes away from the, the screen. His hand was blocking part of the view. Um, I even noticed a few moments when he was even swallowing back okay. some emotions. And as I looked a lot on the jury, I could see a few members actually glance over at Mason when these photos were being shown, but I really couldn't tell what they were thinking or feeling at that time. Now, this doctor who performed the autopsy says that all five victims died from a gunshot wound to the head. The manner of death was ruled a homicide. Some of those victims even showed evidence of being shot within three feet and soot was found in one of the baby's gunshot wounds, meaning the gun was only a foot away. Now, despite this emotionally heavy day, the jury is still inside. And I actually just got word that court was adjourned for the day. So the jury will be returning back tomorrow. I'll go over more over the testimony that they heard this afternoon uh, later on on Wait 31 News at 5. Reporting live in Athens, Alex Torres Perez, Wait 31 News.